In this uh, example, we will look at psychrometric properties of air that is used to dry a bed of sliced fruit. So we have uh, ambient air that is at a dry bulb temperature of 45 degrees Celsius and a wet bulb temperature of 25 degrees Celsius that is first heated in a heater to a dry bulb temperature of 95 degrees Celsius. Then it is passed through a bed of fruit slices to dry them. The exit air from the top of the bed is at a dry bulb temperature of 65 degrees Celsius. That exit air is then passed through a dehumidifier to reduce its relative humidity to 10%. You are asked to clearly show the various paths of the process on a psychrometric chart. The air velocity through the bed and the dehumidifier is 3.5 meters per second, and the cross-sectional diameter of the bed is 0 0.4 meters. We are asked to determine the amount of moisture removed in grams of water per second from the fruit bed and also to calculate the amount of moisture removed in grams of water per second in the dehumidifier. In the uh, diagram uh, you can see the various uh, uh, components uh, in this system. We have a heater, a dryer and a dehumidifier and we have the conditions of the air indicated uh, as that air moves through these uh, different components. So now let's look at a psychrometric chart and plot the various points on the chart. So on the uh, psychrometric chart, first we identify the dry bulb temperature of 45 degrees C and a wet bulb temperature of 25 degrees C. Then uh, follow the lines both for the wet bulb and dry bulb and they will meet at point A. So point A represents a dry bulb temperature condition of 45 degrees C, a wet bulb temperature of 25 degrees C. This is the condition of the ambient air. Now air is heated and as we know that heating can be shown on a psychrometric chart as a horizontal line. So we have the temperature of the air increasing as the air moves through the heater to a dry bulb temperature of 95 degrees C and that is identified as point B. Now the air is conveyed through the bed of fruit slices and we know when air moves through uh, a bed of moist material uh, the air is under adiabatic saturation conditions. So in other words on the psychrometric chart, the air will follow the wet bulb line where the enthalpy remains constant. And that's why it's called adiabatic uh, saturation. It moves towards saturation under constant enthalpy conditions. So we have the wet bulb line and we follow that from B to C. Point C is identified by noting that the exit air from the dryer is at 65 degrees C. So we will follow the 65 degrees C temperature, dry bulb temperature, all the way up to where it meets the wet bulb line at point C. So B to C represents the conditions of air as it moves through the dryer. Now that air coming out of the dryer at point C is then moved through a dehumidifier. Again, we know that the humidification or dehumidification processes are shown by a vertical line on the psychrometric chart. So it is a dehumidification process. So the humidity is going to decrease. So we follow the vertical line from C to D. We identify the point D because we know that the air from the dehumidifier is exiting at 10% relative humidity. 
So as you will notice, this point D is on the 10% relative humidity curve. So we have our process described from A to B as the heating process, B to C the drying process where the air moves through the dryer, and a C to D a process through the dehumidifier. And we can read the values of humidity ratio on the right hand side. So for point C, it is 24 grams of water per kilogram of dry air. And similarly for point D, it is 16. And point B, it's 11.7 grams of water per kilogram of dry air. There is a, one more value we need from the chart, and that is for the specific volume for ambient air at point A. Note that for point A, the adjacent specific volume lines are 0 0.9 and 0 0.95. So we estimate uh, from the chart that the value for specific volume for point A will be 0 0.92 cubic meter per kilogram dry air. Uh, we will use this next uh, when we make the calculations for part A and part B. First, we want to determine the water removed in the dryer, which is uh, B to C. Uh, we just obtained from the psychrometric chart the humidity ratios for B as 24 and for C we obtained 11.7. So the water removed in the dryer will be 12.3 grams of water per kilograms of dry air. Now we want to determine the flow rate, the mass flow rate. And again, from the psychrometric chart, we obtain the specific volume of the ambient air at A as 0 0.92 cubic meter per kilogram dry air. The velocity of the air is given as 3.5 meter per second, and the diameter of the bed is 0 0.4 meter. So the cross-sectional area of the bed will be pi d squared over 4, or pi into 0 0.4 meter square divided by 4, which will be 0 0.126 square meters. Then the volumetric flow rate will be the velocity multiplied with the cross-sectional area of the bed. So 0 0.126 square meters times 3.5 meter per second. And that will give us 0 0.44 cubic meters per second. Note that this is volumetric flow rate. We want to convert it into mass flow rate, which will be then 0 0.44 cubic meter per second and that will be divided by the specific volume of the ambient air at A. We obtained that as 0 0.92 cubic meter divided by kilogram dry air. So uh, in this case, the cubic meters will cancel out and we will have 0 0.478 kilograms of dry air per second. So that is the mass flow rate then the water removed in the dryer will be 12.3 grams of water divided by a kilogram dry air times 0 0.478 kilograms of dry air per second. And that gives us 5.88 grams of water per second as our answer for the part A. Now for part B, the moisture removed in the dehumidifier and that is uh, from C to D. Again, from the psychrometric chart, we obtain the values for humidity ratios as 24 for C and 16 for D. So 24 minus 16 will be eight grams of water per kilogram of dry air. We have already calculated the mass flow rate, which is 0 0.478 kilograms of dry air per second. So to find out the water removed in the dehumidifier, we just have to multiply that water removed in the dehumidifier times the mass flow rate. So it will be eight grams of water per kilogram of dry air into 0 0.478 kilograms of dry air per second. 
again, kilograms of dry air will cancel out and we will have 3.82 grams of water per second as our answer for part B.